It was finally the day of the careers fair. Walking down the hallway, you see many posters hung on the aisles. Artist, doctor, and finally, you spot a bright blue sign labelled writer. A bookworm sitting behind the counter greets you with a smile. Hello, are you here to join the book club? Oh, that's wonderful. I'll sign you right up. Yes, please. The bookworm brings out a sign-up sheet labelled Avery Library Book Club. Taking out a pen, Miss Bookworm looks at you expectantly. You know, the best place to learn is the library. I heard Henry the Owl is looking for help to write his next story. I'm sure that would be a great way to start. Opening the grand doors to the school Avery library, you are immediately surrounded by stories wrapped in multicolored covers lying in the walls from floor to ceiling. Muffled whispers hum through the aisles as students work. Suddenly, an old owl with a big hat and loose tie approaches you. Hello there. Miss Bookworm told me about you. Thanks for coming in to help me. I'm Henry. I'm a writer for the books you see here in the library. I'm trying to write a new book at the moment, but... Well, I seem to have stumbled across an awful writer's block. My trusty story machine usually helps me, but it's sadly broken. I'd love to hear your ideas for my next book. Great, follow me. Henry turns and begins down an aisle lit by lanterns. He leads you into a cosy writing room. A desk occupies the centre of the room with papers scattered across it, opposite a bookshelf and a curious machine in the corner. Henry pulls a book from the shelf, flickering through the pages, creating a small cloud of dust before settling on one. You look down at the book Henry is holding. Printed across the age paper are three options, accompanied by sketches. Splendid. Now we just need to give them a name. As Henry takes the pencil back, the curious machine in the corner begins to make loud noises. A bright flash of light fills your vision. Now let's choose a setting, shall we? Start their story in... Ahem. One bright morning, they were busily preparing lunch for their roommate, Jessie. The only thing missing was some herbs from the garden. I know, the door is locked. It must have closed on its own when I wasn't looking. Woof, locked out, are you? You know what, I reckon there's a spare key buried out here. Why don't you have a dig in that garden over there? I don't know, that could make a big mess. What should I do? I should just wait for Jessie to come back. Then she can let me in. It wouldn't be very nice if I messed up her garden looking for the key. I can pass the time while I wait for Jessie. Jessie arrives home shortly after and lets two of you back inside. Together with the herbs, both of you finish cooking and enjoy a nice meal of spaghetti together. 
With that, you're surrounded by a bright light and are transported back to the room. Henry bustles over carrying a new book spat out by the story machine. Well done, you did it. Thank you for helping me write the next story. You should be very proud. Upon exiting the writing room, Henry places the new book upon the silver statue, standing in the center of the library. La la.